So yeah. Well, it was the news all Liverpool fans were waiting for when you, you finally became one of our players. You're a confident guy and you've achieved so much in your young career already, but what about walking into a new training ground for the first time? Are there a little bit of nerves associated with, with, with becoming officially a Liverpool player then? Yeah, I think it's more like the feeling when you, you know, new at school, yeah. you know, like you need to get used to everything, you know, you don't know anyone, but with the help of everyone around the club, you know. All the, all the guys who work here, you know, it went it went very quickly, and so far I can't complain, obviously. Give us an insight into how it happens. Then, are you, are you introduced to, to the group? Do you walk into the changing room and shake hands with everybody? How does it how does it work? I think I think uh, when, when my first day here, I, I, I meet almost every 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 player. It's just like you, you introduce yourself, and obviously then the Everton game, and after the Everton game, we went to Dubai. So then you get to know each other much better than. Um, here, so uh, basically that helped, helped a lot as well. Yeah. This is another place where some of the hard work takes place. Do you enjoy coming into work every day? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, of course. You can do a lot worse things in life, but I think this is a special place to come and, and do your work and, and uh, enjoy the weather and even, you know, enjoy your work with the, with the guys here, so, uh, yeah. Premier League's getting so fast that players are getting bigger, stronger. This is obviously where a lot of that hard work takes place. Do you spend a lot more time than you need to sometimes in a, in a gym, just making sure you're in tip-top shape? To be fair, no, if we play a lot of games, I'd rather just play some basketball with, with a couple guys and then prepare for training just, you know, uh, half an hour before we go outside. I just like to you know, clear my head, relax sometimes as well, because, you know, it's heavy not only, you know, physically, but mentally as well. So uh, sometimes you just need to focus on different things. Talk to us about the basketball then. This is a competitive side to the yeah. players' training, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Who yeah. Who plays yeah. in um, these games? I play with, uh, with Dejan, uh, with Joe Gomez. Uh, sometimes Hendo likes to join in, but he's not that not good. good. No. It's just like sometimes before training, we do like free throws until 10. And, yeah, Dayan is, is, is competitive, but he's not, uh, he's not good enough. He's not very good. Nah, he's not good. <laughs> it's so important that you're close as a group. That this seems the, the closest group I've seen at, at Liverpool for, for many years. Would that be a fair, a fair assessment, that you are a, a tight group of players? Yeah, for me as well, I felt like that straight away on my you know, first couple of days. You don't need to be perfect with each other, but to be good with each other, want to work for each other, want to be there. And, um, tell each other if, if things are not going well. Even when we had little setbacks, we, we stick together and, and, and keep going and keep working. So I think that's very important. Who are you closest to then? Who would, you, who would your best friend be, perhaps, if you had to pick one? Best friend. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm all right with everyone, I think. But obviously, I know Jeannie before. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been playing some basketball <laughs> with, uh, with the other guys. Joe, uh, I like to spend time with Joe as well. And, and uh, he's a cool guy. And, we see Dea and Mo, everyone, you know, it's, it's, it's a great group and everyone is uh, looking out for each other. Because it's a young group as well, we have this feeling that we were at the, the very start of something that could be hopefully, many years. You know, hopefully, yeah. Even if we have boxes and, and the youngest needs to go in, uh, I feel like, you know, uh, I'm the oldest almost. Yeah. It's, just, it's just so much, so much talent here and hopefully we can you know, keep going for the next years or years, years to come. On this pitch as you prepare for games, you're facing probably the best front three in Europe at the moment. Can you give us an insight into how difficult that is? Yeah, well, obviously I, I knew it before I joined. I knew already what, what I could face, but to see them, you know, how they really are in, in training and, and even over the games I've played together with them, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable. And not only the goals, but and the hunger to, you know, to even defend and score goals as well is just, you know, Fantastic, and uh, I think that's all credit to, to the coaching staff and and, uh, and also the rest of the, the players, I think. What do they like to face from a defender's point of view, even in a training session? Yeah, well, it's just it's just sometimes it can be a nightmare. Yeah. So obviously you need to be you you want to face these guys in training even sometimes to get better. Yeah. But sometimes you think just leave it for the weekend <laughs> and uh, you know take it easy. 
Our cameras weren't quick enough but to see Diane Lovren shouting off the balcony there before. I was going to ask you who the biggest joker was in, in the dressing room. Does he feature in there? He does definitely feature in there, yeah. I think uh, a couple other guys as well. Obviously, Millie loves the, loves the joke. Um, Mo loves the joke. So I think we have a couple of jokers in the team. I think Dayan trying to be uh, trying to be the guy, yeah. <laughs> you have to be careful around these guys. You do, you do, for sure. You need to be, uh, you need to be on your toes and ready for anything that's possible, yeah. Who's the biggest moaner then? Somebody like a moan? I, I say Dayan as well. Yeah. yeah, he loves a moan as well, you know. I think he's getting old, so I tell him as well as a joke. Does this place feel like home for you now? Yes, definitely. I feel settled, you know, obviously there's still more to come. I feel it as well. I feel it within the group with the other boys as well that there's still, you know, progress to make. But, uh, yeah to feel settled that quickly, you know, it, it, it's all credit to everyone around uh, the club, the, the players, the fans, you know, um, and also my family that helps, helps with that as well, so um, I feel home definitely.